Mesothelioma is a malignant cancer disease of the mesothelium, a protective layer of tissue that covers many of the body's organs, such as the heart, the lungs, and the abdominal organs. Mesothelioma is a rare disease being found new each year in about 4,000 patient cases. Mesothelioma is recognized as being caused by exposure to asbestos particles. There are three types of mesothelioma. Pleural mesothelioma, which is the most common, peritoneal mesothelioma, the second most common, and pericardial mesothelioma, the rarest of the three. Peritoneal mesothelioma is a cancer that makes up 10 to 20 percent of the patient cases, and it affects the lining of the abdomen. It is caused by the ingestion of asbestos. Pericardial mesothelioma is the rarest form of mesothelioma but is frequently found in conjunction with pleural mesothelioma. The pericardium covers the heart and acts as a protective barrier for the heart. Only 150 cases have ever been reported, and people aged 40 to 70 are most likely to have pericardial mesothelioma. Surgical removal of the pericardium is a current treatment as it lessens constrictions on the heart. Pleural mesothelioma, being the most common, makes up 75% of all mesothelioma cases. It is a tumor that affects the mesothelium covering that protects the lungs. Even though it is the most common case of mesothelioma, it is still rare and is often misdiagnosed with several lung diseases such as lung cancer and viral pneumonia. Mesothelioma and its symptoms often do not reveal themselves until 40 years after exposure to asbestos. If you think you or individuals you know may have mesothelioma, please call 1-800-909-6376 if you or someone you know is interested in our clinical trials. For more information about the symptoms of all three types of mesothelioma or for specific answers to your particular situation, please call the toll-free number to the Mesothelioma Research Foundation of America. one 800 909 MISO. That's 1-800-909-6376. Or visit our central website at www.misorfa.org. Feel free to ask about our clinical trials led by Dr. Prakash Gill.